Just as the slipper does not fit, this remake does not exactly fit the original. Cinderella, the 2015 live-action remake of the 1950 Disney animated classic directed by Kenneth Branagh and is the third Disney live-action remake overall. So, Cinderella 2015 uh, tells the story. Uh, I don't need to go into uh, minute detail about uh, the plot of Cinderella. Everybody knows uh, the classic uh, fairy tale story. Our, our parents told it to us in our childhood, uh, for crying out loud. Uh, but this is the uh, traditional uh, Cinderella story just uh, expanded upon with added backstory of Cinderella's parents. Now, now, the original Cinderella may have one of the most abrupt and out-of-nowhere romances I've ever seen in a Disney classic, but it's still one of the go-to Disney princess movies, and it did help revive Disney after they were struggling financially after World War II. And I'm okay with Cinderella being remade of the Disney classics, as even though when people um, um, mention Cinderella, the Disney classic is immediately the version that, that uh, uh, comes uh, to their heads. Uh, but uh, Cinderella has had numerous adaptations. Uh, it's not like Disney uh, invented the story in the first place. So come 2015, Salakadula Magicabula live action remake. Uh, Kenneth Branagh adds more to the story, and what do you got? A better than I uh, thought uh, live action retelling of a Cinderella but uh, also a meh one at the same time. I can see why everybody thought uh, that uh, this uh, uh, was the first uh, good live action remake, as it is uh, 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 more nostalgia based, it is uh, more uh, the traditional tale, and it's not so uh, uh, changing too much like Alice in Wonderland or Maleficent. But uh, I liked uh, that approach of Alice in Wonderland and Maleficent uh, with Zin with the live action remakes that just uh, focus on nostalgia. I'm like, people, lift your nostalgia goggles off. Uh, we we want to Disney to uh, do uh, something uh, fresh and, and uh, original, uh, not to uh, be lazy. But Disney and Kenneth Branagh still did a, a all right job with this movie and did their best to. Uh, uh, not to uh, uh, disrespect uh, the original. So let me get to uh, my uh, positives. Uh, uh, Lily James and Cinderella, um, she is uh, uh, not only stunning in the role of Cinderella, in, especially in her dress. Her dress rocks. She is such a babe. Uh, but uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I I can see why all eyes uh, were on her at at, at the royal ball, um, uh, mine included. But uh, yeah, but Lily James is a uh, Cinderella. Uh, uh, for the most part, uh, uh, she uh, knocks us out of the park. Uh, she uh, captures uh, uh, the the innocence of uh, Cinderella's character, and and she got Cinderella's positive personality uh, when 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 she's when she's putting. Uh, her stepmother and stepsisters before herself a spot on. The prince may have done nothing and was the most forgettable character in the original Cinderella, but in this uh, remake, uh, they uh, added far more layers uh, to him. They gave him far more screen time and involvement with the narrative, and they did uh, uh, improve uh, the romance with him and Cinderella, especially as him and Cinderella in, in the the twist in this movie is that they don't meet at the ball. They meet. They first meet at a deer hunt, uh, where they where they begin uh, to uh, 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 to chat about uh, their interests and and they and they do a uh, show more chemistry. Uh, yeah, and uh, I I can see why Disney did want to uh, fix uh, uh, the 
that's a, a rushed romance from the original. The romance was the one quality I liked better in the remake, but uh, uh, but uh, but the others, uh, uh, the the original excels at uh, all the way. And this is Helena Bonham Carter's second dowsing in a Disney live action remake. Her first being the Red Queen in Alice in Wonderland, and now the Fairy Godmother in Cinderella. Not the Fairy Godmother from Shrek 2, the good Fairy Godmother, and she's awesome, a wonderfully charming. Uh, for her at uh, one moment as as the fairy godmother in the bibbity bobbity uh, boo scene uh, where she transforms uh, the carriage and she transforms these lizards into coachmen and and a goose into into horses uh, yeah and, uh, yeah that was my my favorite scene in in the movie but I'm afraid that's all the good that can be said about this remake uh, from my uh, point of view. I mean, uh, as for the negatives, uh, to me, uh, adding more backstory uh, takes away from the, the story of Cinderella instead of uh, uh, improving upon it. It intends to improve upon the story and make it uh, make give it more depth, uh, but. Uh, but but the the charm of the original Cinderella story lay in its simplicity. That's what I that's what I freaking hate about these live action remakes. They are needlessly complicating uh, classics, which they don't need to. You know the backstory uh, where we find out uh, what happened to Cinderella's uh, parents and how she uh, uh, lives with uh, uh, Lady Tremaine and Priscilla and Anastasia and how she was in slave that that was uh, that uh, was uh, uh it was explained short and sweet in the original through a storybook. In this uh, remake, uh, it's literally the entire first act and beginning of the movie. It's it's a uh, dragged on far longer than than necessary and uh, the the mice in this remake um the 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 mice are so one note they don't even talk they, the mice were such a loyal pals to Cinderella and they helped her through uh, the harshest of times and uh, and that's uh, what uh, uh, gave the original uh, uh, so much heart so you'll immediately forget about the CGI'd mice in this remake they are mere shadows of their former selves and while I can't fault to the uh, stunning and grander production design in terms of bringing uh, the baller scene as the life uh, but does it have the same wonder or impact of the original hand-drawn animation uh, not even close uh, and even the part in the story after the king uh, passes away and he's uh, like uh, uh, two of the prince uh, go find uh, the mystery girl who who ran away uh, so so the the soldiers that uh, they search uh, for her by they, 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 they let every single lady in the kingdom try on her the glass slipper. I'm like that. Even that part uh, uh, was over long. Uh, I'm like, what? What was the purpose of that? So we just need to see uh, uh, Priscilla, Anastasia, and Cinderella try on the glass slipper. We don't need all the to focus on all the other ladies in the kingdom. That's just taking up time. And uh, now. And and even Priscilla and Anastasia, I, they uh, are uh, vastly inferior to the Priscilla and Anastasia from uh, the uh, animated Cinderella. And as is uh, La Lady Tremaine, uh, played by Kate Blanchett. So don't get me wrong, Kate Blanchett is a goddess among actresses, uh, but her Lady Tremaine um, is is isn't a. Uh, isn't half uh, as villainous uh, as uh, the Lady Tremaine uh, from the original. The Lady Tremaine from the original uh, uh, was so bitter even in her smile. Uh, 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 but uh, but but this uh, uh, Lady Tremaine, uh, she she doesn't even uh, make a, uh, a whole lot of effort to prevent Cinderella from receiving her happily ever after. And uh, in the in the final moments of the movie, the the one thing that uh, prevents Lily James's Cinderella from uh, being on par with the animated Cinderella was that 
In the original, Cinderella was a badass. She was determined to get past Lucifer and with the help of the mice to get out of her locked her room so that so she could uh, try the glass slipper on and uh, get the happy ending she deserved with the prince. Uh, but uh, in the remake, all she does is uh, uh, she, she's pretending to be happy about it all. She, she's just singing out of the window. I'm like, what the fuck, girl? Get your ass down there and uh, uh, fight for your happy ending that you deserve. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and also, uh, this... Uh, uh, this uh, uh... Also, the soundtrack in this remake, it's leaps and bounds weaker than the majestic soundtrack and songs of the original Cinderella. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Cinderella 2015, to me, is an overly praised as the best a Disney live-action remake, but uh, it doesn't do any harm, and if you want to see a Cinderella version in live-action, then it's, it's not the worst adaptation, at least. I give Cinderella 2015 two stars out of five meh movie. So yeah, Cinderella and Jungle Book remakes are not the greatest of the Disney live action remakes as the general consensus makes out, sir, but, uh, but they're fine. They are still tolerable in comparison to the remakes that never even needed to exist in the first place. So well, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And what do you think of Cinderella 2015? And which do you like best, a Cinderella 1950 or 2015? Uh, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and on Google Plus and on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. I have nearly covered all the Disney live action remakes. Stay tuned for my rant uh, on Pete's Dragon 2016, as my thoughts have uh, hugely gone down on that uh, total disaster of a remake. Uh, I'll see you then, and remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.